you to present the proposal in two minutes or less. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm Justin Danhoff. I represent the National Center for Public Policy Research, um, and today my colleague at the National Center, Amy Reidenauer, and I hereby move proposal number eight. Our proposal simply asks the company to do more in defending its products and to promote the safety and benefit of GMOs. Companies whose products contain GMOs, such as McDonald's, are harmed by the public's severe ignorance on this issue. As we stand, there are more than 2,000 global scientific studies on GMOs, and the evidence is clear. GMOs are perfectly safe. The debate is over. Despite this clear scientific consensus, anti-GMO activists, such as the last shareholder proponent, continue to sow fear and doubt. Their actions are ignorant and, frankly, inhumane. Polling data shows that nearly 4 in 10 Americans are misinformed about GMO safety, and more than 9 in 10 are not aware of the unnecessary cost and unscientific rationale of GMO labeling. That ignorance harms the company and the developing world, where malnutrition is exacerbated by resistance to GMO technology. Scientific American has reported that the delayed application of the GMO vitamin A enhanced golden rice, thanks to controversy stirred by anti-GMO activists, has cost over 1.4 million life years in India alone since 2002. This is real human suffering and death, and it's children who too often suffer the most. If the company doesn't stand up for its products, not only will uneducated folks such as the last shareholder proponent continue to attack the company, but also hunger, malnutrition, and even death can rightly be blamed at McDonald's feet. Abdicating your responsibility as a major international brand, the iconic golden arches with trillions of meals served is shameful. I urge my fellow shareholders to support sound science, the promise of GMOs, and vote for Proposal 8. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Danhoff. The ninth item is an advisory vote on a shareholder proposal.